What is going on, guys? It's Jaywall coming to you with 500 Rewards Guardians from the Guardians of the Rift minigame. I just got that feeling we're going to get the pet today. You know, sometimes you just got the feeling. So um, super excited that we're going to go ahead and fill that log up. Now, if you guys haven't watched my last video, I ran through a guide where I'm getting max points at this mini game. It's about 11 to 13 points a game on average, which I was getting. So if you're not getting that, definitely check that video out. I'm sure it'll help you guys in your grind to 99. Now, I will show you the collection log really quickly. We've opened the rift 660 times. Still no pet. That's all right. We're getting it today. 1612 Abyssal Pearls. And yes, I did complete the full set in my last grind. And yes, I did happen to forget to take it off when I went and started training at the Chaos Altar while I was taking a break from runecrafting. It is what it is. It's, it's just a part of the game. Um, made a mistake. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have ever lost anything that you had to regrind for at the Chaos Altar or anywhere in Deep Wildy. Just is what it is. So, um... No worries there. We're going to hopefully complete the set. Again, we do have the boots of the eye for my last uh, few openings. So all we need is about 1,100 Abyssal Pearls. We should be getting that on rate with 500 openings as well as the pet is a 1 in 4,000 chance. We would be at about one, a little over one-fourth of the drop rate on this opening. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We'll go ahead and check here. 500 catalytic energy and 500 elemental energy points. Let's get into the openings. All right, that should be our first full inventory. Nothing yet. 418 searches left. Let's go ahead and bank and get back to opening. There it is. All right. Our first rare item, the Abyssal Blue die. That's a 1 in 1,200 drop rate. I'm hoping that didn't uh, completely scuff the rest of the openings, but there is our first rare coming in. We have just under 400 searches left, so hoping that still leaves us some room to get uh, either the pet or the Abyssal Lantern. That would be pretty awesome. Hey, there it is. New collection log, Abyssal Lantern. Wow. 
I was not expecting to get the die and the lantern in just over 150 searches. That is actually really good luck. So um, hopefully that doesn't ruin our chances to get the pet. Uh, but if we don't get anything else, I'm honestly super happy with that. The Abyssal Lantern, look at that thing. That is That is super cool. Shield left half. It's a 1 in 45 drop rate. I'll take the collection log item. Kind of cool, I guess. Two hundred and eighty-seven searches left, a little bit over halfway. Hoping we get one more rare item, but again, I mean getting the lantern and the die in the first 250 is really good luck. So not counting on it, but we'll see. No way. Collection log, Abyssal Green die. We have two dies and the Abyssal Lantern, and we still have 140 rewards left. That is such good luck. Wow. The only thing that I could really ask for is a little bit more pearls. I think we're behind on our drop rate. We still need to get to 1,100 to complete the set. So hopefully we can start getting some pearls here in the last 130.
All right, guys, we have 104 searches left. Let's keep going. Let's hope for pearls. All right, we need 28 Abyssal Pearls and 20 Loot Searches to get the uh, full set. Come on. There's one. And there's the last one. We completed the set. Two Abyssal Dies and an Abyssal Lantern. Just in time, we have 10 rewards left to finish up. Alrighty guys, that should conclude 500 searches from Guardians of the Rift. Let's go ahead and deposit the other talismans and show you a loot tracker breakdown as well as purchase a few items from the store. First I want to look at how much we made just from the runes alone. Looks like we made 3.2 million just from the runes and obviously that Dragon Medhelm. Here is the Loot Tracker tab, 729k from the Intricate Pouches, just about 3 million from the Rewards Guardian with 2 Abyssal Dies, an Abyssal Lantern, and 1,220 Abyssal Pearls. I don't know, guys. You let me know. Do you think we got lucky? I sure as heck think we did. No pet, unfortunately, but that is okay. We're going to go ahead and trade Felix and complete the rest of the set. We do need the hat, the robe top, and the robe bottom. 1100 pearls, we have 1134, let's buy the robe bottom, the robe top, and the hat to finish it off. Now if you guys didn't know, you can exchange your abyssal die for either extra pearls if you don't feel like recoloring the set, or you can trade it in for another color. I think I'm going to go with green, so I'm going to trade this blue die in and get a green one with it. Let's go ahead and use the green die on the top and the bottom. Maybe someday in the future we'll go ahead and grind and try to get one more die to finish the top half, but at the end of the day it's purely cosmetic. And we did complete the set, which was our goal. So I will show you guys what it looks like after we equip everything, the boots, the top, bottom, the hat, and of course the Abyssal Lantern. Here are the passive effects depending on the logs that you use and your fire making level for the different bonuses that you get within the minigame. Now the last thing that I did want to add is you can use any talisman, catalytic, elemental, or any singular talisman on the hat and it will act as a tiara which will save you an inventory space as well as just make things easier when you are doing rune runs at altars instead of the minigame. That is going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. We will see you next time.